I don't know if it gets any more realistic than this. We have a T135 aircraft, smoke and fire coming from the front and the rear of the aircraft. I don't know if it gets any more realistic than this. The Air Force Civil Engineer Center's state-of-the-art fire research and training facility at the Silver Flag Exercise Site on Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, is routinely ablaze with advanced, world-class firefighter training. What makes our training facility unique here at Tyndall Silver Flag is that the students are able to come and actually apply foam to a fuel fire using ultra-high pressure technology and put their skills to the test. We still have to train how we fight. That's a saying in the Air Force, if we don't train how we fight, then we won't know what to do when the time comes. The completely modernized fire research and training facility supports both liquid propane fires as well as Jet A fuel fires. The Jet A fires simulate real-world aircraft fire incidents. This opportunity promotes warfighter safety by producing competent and confident combat airmen firefighters. We're doing a mock C-130 crash. So we're basically simulating what would happen, how would we react if a C-130 were to have crashed and there was fuel spillage on the ground. A lot of these tactics that we have learned over the years and we kind of just refine it where our new equipments, new personnel, new command. This AFKEC Readiness Director admission is to provide fire emergency services training and skills for worldwide and bear based deployments where expeditionary combat support teams can interact and operate free from their home station constraints. We have a lot of uh, guard and reservists come out here with us. A lot of them work for big cities. So it's cool getting to hear their stories, their experiences. Our primary mission is aircraft rescue and firefighting. And when an aircraft goes down, our first priority is to get the people out safely. So you have to extinguish the fire quickly. To do that, typically in a crash, you have flaming jet fuel. Flaming jet fuel is very difficult to extinguish. So the, the agent that we use is called aqueous film forming foam. And what it does is it blankets the fuel. Without the AFFF and that blanket of foam that, that uh, seals the, the fuel, it's really very difficult to extinguish the fire. This battle-ready, built-right facility also provides for research, development, and testing activities for the entire Air Force, including studying more effective and environmentally friendly firefighting agents. So the Air Force got rid of all of that what we call legacy foam. We washed their trucks out and we completely adopted the, the more environmentally friendly foam and th that's now the only foam that we use. So we contain all of that in an environmentally friendly manner. Reporting from the AFKEC Civil Engineer Laboratory, for AFIMSC. I don't know if it gets any more realistic than this. I'm Brian Godden.